Vamos gravar o videoclipe do Cultura 3. Frio pra caralho. Camino de Brujos is a very complete album that gathers uh, different moods. It can be heavy and aggressive, but also can be moody and melancholic. Uh, very organic, you know, rough sound, a lot of influence by the 90s. There's a little bit of hardcore, of course, there's a little bit of the influence of Sepultura as well. Sounds super psychedelic. There is no trigger, there is no samples. It's just organic and wild. Also the production, we went really far with exploring really the textures that Andy Wallace used to give to the bands in the 90s, this organic feel that the music has been played, that it has dynamics in it, so therefore it can be even more aggressive. Guitar work is unusual because it's not like uh, the guitars and the bass play the same riff, but we all play different lines and they all complement each other into one harmony. Polyphonic, like a horror film made into, into rock music. So we did a little bit of uh, fingering, pulling more to the classic rock parts, trying to be more influenced by the, the bass players that I loved the most back in the 70s. I personally have a, a, a lot of influence from uh, guitar players such as uh, Slash, Jimi Hendrix. We are not afraid to really mix things that normally wouldn't mix. It could go into really melancholic 70s type of music to something extremely noisy and industrial within the same track. You can clearly hear the, the South American influence in our music because of her rhythm section. I am from Brazil. Alejandro Juama are Venezuelan, Colombia. We, South Americans, have, have a different approach of playing with the rock music. Jerry, our drummer, he plays the drums as if he was playing a Latin percussion in a way, you know, sometimes he hits a tom like if it was a timbali. Afro-Caribbean music, that was the first music that I explored when I was a kid. Now I mix like between percussion and drums into the rock music. And of course you have uh, Paulo Jr. on the bass guitar. He comes from Sepultura and Sepultura is uh, one of the pioneers mixing metal with South American rhythms. He has this dragging, you know, bass guitar that makes it heavy in a different way than most metal bass playing of what I hear today. 